Thanks for tuning in to Dirty Teeth and welcome back to the channel. A good while ago, I posted a video detailing a handful of cost-effective upgrades for my gravel slash drop bar adventure bikepacking rig. One of those improvements was transitioning from the somewhat outdated 1x11 drivetrain to a more modern SRAM Eagle 1x12 setup. To keep the costs low, I installed the Ratio Technology 12-speed upgrade kit. If you're still rocking an 11 speed and are considering making the jump to 12 speed but haven't been able to validate forking out the dough, pay attention. I've now had it on my bike for well over a year and multiple thousands of miles and I'm still enjoying it, so let's dive into my long-term takeaway. So what is Ratio Technology? It's a small, boutique-ish company based in Cambridge, England. It was founded in 2018 by two young Brainiac engineers who also happen to be bike racers. Felix Barker and Tom Simpson. And as you may have guessed, they specialize in parts designed to enhance and improve cycling drivetrains. Their standout product is definitely the 11 to 12 speed upgrade kit. It's offered in multiple SRAM and Shimano versions and various configurations to fit a variety of bikes and drivetrain specs. They also offer a 13 speed Campagnolo upgrade and are constantly bringing new products to market. I just checked their site and they now offer derailleur cages and chain rings as well. So what is the benefit of upgrading to this kit and why did I go this route? Primarily, I wanted a wider gear range and I didn't want to spend an arm and a leg to get it. I love the simplicity of the 1x setup so I wanted to stick with it. Plus, going from a 1x to a 2x would have been a lot of extra money and headache. I basically would have needed a whole new grupo. New shifter brake levers, a front derailleur, and new cranks, so that was out of the question. Likewise, I didn't want to drop the loop to go with a whole new 1x12 setup either. Sure, I could have gone with wireless electronic shifting and all that, but I couldn't validate that cost either. In terms of gear range, I'd already maxed out the capacity of my 1x11 mullet setup and then some. If you're not familiar with the term mullet in this capacity, it simply means using drop bar controls with a mountain bike cassette. <laughs> Business up front with a party in the back. My bike was specced with a SRAM Force 1x11 Grupo, which I love. I squeezed on a 1042 XO mountain bike cassette, which was super lightweight and had the biggest spread of gears that SRAM offered at that time. Then I swapped out the 42 tooth granny gear for a Wolf Tooth GCX 46 tooth. This was way beyond the advertised max capacity of my Force derailleur, but I'll note it did work flawlessly. Although it gave me extra gear range, it was a pretty big jump between the two easiest gears, which wasn't optimal. Oftentimes on climbs, I felt like I wanted to be in a gear right between the two. In addition, the 11 speed replacement parts were getting harder and harder to find. Wolftooth discontinued that GCX ring and those 11 speed EXO cassettes were very expensive to begin with and not that easy to source. So I squeezed as much as I could out of my 11 speed setup. When it was time to replace my cassette, chain ring, and chain, I made the switch to the 12-speed mullet setup and haven't looked back. I sold my Force derailleur on eBay and replaced it with a SRAM GX Eagle, which I installed with the Ratio Kit. It couldn't have been easier to do since it allowed me to keep using my awesome Force shifters and hydraulic brakes. No hassle of having to route and cut new hydraulic brake lines, and it was the most financially responsible choice as well. In terms of gearing, I went from a 1046 to a 1052 tooth with one extra gear in there. I can use a slightly larger front chain ring for more top end speed with plenty of latitude on the low end to tackle the steepest climbs. All with smoother steps between the gears and no more huge jump into the granny. As far as specifics, I purchased the Ratio 12 speed SRAM wide range conversion kit. In addition to the Force 11 speed lineup, it's compatible with SRAM Red, Rival, and Apex groups. Depending on the bike, you'll either need a rear exiting cable kit or a forward exiting kit. Mine happens to use the forward exit kit, which currently sells for about 95 bucks. It comes with a 12 speed ratchet, a special cable fin, and a barrel adjuster. The 12 speed ratchet replaces the 11 speed ratchet in your shifter. The ratio cable fin replaces the stock cable fin on your Eagle derailleur and the barrel adjuster allows you to index shifting on the Eagle mountain bike derailleur since you're not using a mountain bike shifter the derailleur was intended for. Installation is pretty straightforward but it does require a little patience and some mechanical know-how. The process is slightly different between hydraulic and cable brake shifters and ratio has detailed videos for both as well as for the cable fin install. 
They lay everything out very clearly and walk you through step by step. I'd watch the videos first and then give it a go if you feel up to it. If not, your local bike shop should be able to get you up and running quickly. I installed mine and I've done a few other conversions for friends since and they all went nice and smooth. Moving on to my long-term takeaway. Let's start with the cons since I can't really think of any. Honestly, I've been so happy with the product that nothing comes to mind. If I had to list one, it would be the slight weight increase. But that's just inherent to the conversion itself due to no fault of the ratio kit. Switching from the force rear derailleur and 11 speed cassette to the eagle derailleur and 12 speed cassette added a little weight. But again, that's just the cost of going to a wider range cassette with an extra gear and a larger derailleur to handle the capacity. So yeah, zero strikes against ratio. As for the pros, I think I've already mentioned most of them, so I'll just recap. Obviously, the extra gear and added range has been a huge boon. For me, the six extra teeth and added step have been a game changer, especially while loaded up for bikepacking. Then there's the cost. It's so much more appetizing than swapping to a brand new 2x or 1x12 setup. And the options and availability for replacement 12-speed drivetrain parts versus 11-speed stuff makes that aspect easier and more cost-effective down the road as well. For me, it's especially nice because all my bikes now have the same drivetrains. I can scoop up 12-speed chains and cassettes when I find them on sale and just stock them at home. I know they'll eventually find a use on one of my bikes. The installation process is easy and straightforward, which is also a plus. The long-term reliability has also been impeccable. After thousands of miles, I can't remember having to touch the barrel adjuster once since I originally indexed the shifting. And the quality of the shifting has been spot on as well. I love the snappiness of the 11-speed shifting with the force derailleur. And it has remained just as crisp and strong and fast and unwavering across the whole gear range. With all that said, I could not be happier with the ratio upgrade kit. I've totally gotten my money's worth out of it and then some. So in conclusion, if you find yourself in a similar situation to me and you're rocking an older 1x11 setup that has you jonesing for a little more gear range or you just want more modern 12-speed components on your bike, I highly recommend giving the ratio kit a shot. For those of you that have tried it or are currently using it, let me know your feedback in the comments section. Or if you have any more questions, let them fly. If you enjoyed this video, please like and share. And until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward. Thanks so much for squeezing dirty teeth into your busy schedule. Please help us reach more people and ensure you receive new videos by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.